What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today we're going to be talking about rhodium. Will rhodium ever have a paper market? So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so rhodium and paper market or futures contracts or whatever you want to call it. Basically, one of the main reasons why rhodium has skyrocketed the way it has is because it doesn't have a futures market. It is strictly traded over the counter. So what does that mean? That means physical rhodium is just strictly sold when it's mined or minted, either or. It has no futures contracts available and it's not sold on a paper market scale. Now, will it ever have a paper market scale? It's possible, but I'm going to talk about a few reasons why I don't think that is. Now, as you can see here, I have some platinum in front of you, but I do not own any rhodium myself. And the reason for that is I did not get in early enough and I did not see the benefit at the price point once it skyrocketed to the straight absolute moon. Now, with that being said, we are going to take a look at an article in a few seconds here talking a little bit about why the price has skyrocketed and specifically the fact that it does not have any futures market contracts or anything like that. But the reasons that I personally believe that it doesn't have a paper market and it may not ever have a paper market is because it is such an incredibly rare metal. And the auto manufacturers in the countries that are trying to tighten emissions and pollution standards, they are begging for the metal and they are dying for it. So they basically will just pay whatever needs to happen because it has been proven to be the most usable metal and the most efficient metal in the platinum group metal sphere for filtering out toxic emissions, mostly from automotive industry, but other industries as well that give off emissions into the air and countries are tightening down on their standards but they need that rhodium to achieve what they want to achieve as far as limiting pollution so with all that being said that's why i personally think that that is occurring and, and that's the way it is i don't know if it will ever have a futures market or a paper contract market based on its rarity because those future contracts they're bought with the intent to take delivery at some point in the future. But if it's, Im well, not impossible, but if it's very difficult to secure rhodium because of the amount that is mined and in the way it's kind of cultivated, it makes it very difficult to sell someone a contract on a metal that you might, but not 100% for sure, will be able to deliver on. Platinum has been mined and will continue to be mined for at least a while or at least as long as it is available in the Earth's crust. Palladium, similarly in Russia and other countries and in South Africa, is continuously mined and it's continuously cultivated. So there's a continuous supply, so to speak. As long as the earth still has it available, it will continue to be mined and continue to be sold on a futures contract aspect. But rhodium is just so incredibly rare that it's really hard to get your hands on some. So because of that, it's hard to sell a future contract on it. But that's my personal belief. Let's go over and take a look at what the article has to say and things of that nature. Okay, everyone. So I have an article pulled up here on Business Line website, and I will be linking this article in the description down below for your viewing pleasure on your own time. But basically, the title of this article is Three Reasons Why Rhodium Prices Have Zoomed to Over 70% Since January 1st. So obviously, this is a little bit dated of an article at March 8th, 2021. So we're looking at about six months difference, or give or take a month, from where we are today. Obviously, rhodium has gone way down in price, but some of the stuff that's talked about in this article is relevant to the video today. So... We're going to go ahead and skip some of this article because, again, this is a little bit dated information. But some of the important points I want to note is right down here, it says supply deficit doubles. One, the growing demand for the automotive industry to meet the rising stringent emission norms comes during a supply deficit that the market is facing. According to Johnson Matthey, PLC, a British multinational specialty chemicals and sustainable technologies company, 
The deficit is in rhodium in the market doubled last year as primary supplies contracted. The deficit was despite a drop in auto catalysts and industrial demand for rhodium. Obviously, that drop is due to a lot of the supply shortages and the auto manufacturers not making as many cars. Again, this article is dated March 2021, so in 2020, we did see those chip shortages and things of that nature. Basically, down here, it talks a little bit about the price movement, which of course is a little bit dated. And getting down here, we can see in this section of the article, it talks about car makers want more. The second reason behind Rhodium's unprecedented run is that car manufacturers in China and Europe are using more of the rare metal to meet tough environmental norms to maintain clean air. So this is key. China and Europe are ever expanding their emission standards. So because of that, they need that Rhodium because it is the best metal to use for filtering out toxic emissions. Down here, it talks about rhodiums used in production equipment used to make fiberglass and glass fibers in liquid crystal displays and other digital displays, advanced laboratory testing equipment, jet engines, sensors, and thermocouples that are used in nuclear reactors. So, this paragraph in particular does not mention auto manufacturers, automobiles, or nothing of the sort, and yet it mentions a lot of industries in which rhodium is used. So, Platinum group metals aren't only used in the automotive industry. That is a key point I want to make in this video. Also in the jewelry sector, it's used for thin plating. There's a little bit of jewelry that is plated with rhodium, but it's not a major factor in its industrial use. The third reason for the galloping rhodium prices is supply from South Africa, the largest producer being affected due to the COVID-19. Also, there has been virtually no investment in new mines in the past couple of decades. So no one's investing in any new mines, so they're relying on mines that have been around forever. So that's going to hurt the overall production rate because we need more platinum now than we did in the past, but we don't have more mines than we did in the past. So they're just overworking them and probably not really increasing a whole lot of the pay. So it has caused a lot of issues in South Africa. There's been a whole bunch of craziness going on over in that part of the world. And down here it says, at the same time, analysts and research firms don't see the demand for rhodium and automotive catalytic converters dropping. Basically down here it talks about Horaeus Precious Metals says rhodium prices are likely to fluctuate at high levels and volatility will be the norm. The market deficit for rhodium should widen further this year. Demand from the automotive industry by far the largest customer is likely to remain high in view of stricter emission regulations. So obviously the demand for the metal is high, but of course the auto manufacturers have been hit with production deficits because they're not able to sell their cars without the proper chips being installed in those automobiles so that they can be sold new to the consumers that are waiting in the market to buy new cars. So, with all of that being said, the last thing I want to get into on this article is right here, where it says one of the problems that industrial users and end users face in sourcing rhodium is that the metal does not have a futures market. There are only a few exchanges that trade the element, including Johnson Matthey in Hong Kong, according to trading economics. So that is a big hindrance with this market, which only drives the price up because you can't get into the futures contracts. You're not able to buy at the current spot price. So you just have to pray it doesn't move. And of course it's going to move because the demand is up and there's no way to manipulate it. There's no way to keep it held down. There's no way to buy and sell without ever actually taking any physical delivery. When you buy rhodium, whether it's from an investment standpoint, or from an industrial standpoint, you are buying the actual metal for the price that it is that day and you are going to be taking delivery of it shortly no matter where the price goes. So it's definitely an interesting thing to note and it's definitely interesting to look at. But overall, who knows if rhodium will ever have an actual physical market as far as paper shares are concerned. Who knows if it'll ever have a futures market. Only time will tell. But in my opinion, it does not look very likely.
But with all that being said, I appreciate everyone for stopping by and checking out the video today. Be sure to hit that like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date future updates on my channel. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know all of your thoughts on rhodium as a precious metal. And with all that being said, until next time, we'll see y'all. Thank you.